This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Witu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke, yeah? Oh. Hi, guys. Respect on my name. Okay. Senator Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond. Oh, sugar daddy. I was going to say something else, Yolewa but Oshuke. it's not going to fit in anymore. So I'll move on. I'll say it another time. It's okay. okay. We'll Moving on, real quick, from a confused senator. Um, Kanye West disappoints um, fans with Jesus is King album delay. The album was supposed to be out on Friday, 25th October at midnight. He took to his Twitter account to thank his fans for being loyal and patient. He said, and I quote, we are specifically fixing mixes on everything we need, follow God and water. We are not going to speak until this album is, uh, oh, we are not going to sleep until this album is out. So um, the water, follow God and everything we need attracts on the album. Um, so yeah. I think he noticed um, some, some things were wrong at the listening. Uh, there was a, a release party for the film that actually took place. I'm not quite sure if it's available for people to go and see now, but mm. people watched it on, um, on of course, they IMAX took their phone. Please, yeah. it's our IMAX showing it. Yeah. You've seen, I saw coming soon. 20, oh, um, 25th. It's yeah. today, today's 25th. Mm. So showing. we should go watch it after. Oh, oh well, yeah. we'll check that Visual out again Senator. though. Yeah. Thank you. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> you need to see, you need to see the outpour on social media. Have you guys seen Black Bones? Yeah, of course, I've seen his You've seen his reaction to, because <laughs> Black Bones is also dropping this album today. Mm. And said, he dropped it already. Yeah. Like, people were really mm. up streaming, and he was happy. I think he was on number four at some point. Yeah. So that's a good one for a rap album, meaning all his crazy sarcasm. From and he actually day, dropped a song yesterday saying that Kanye West should move his date. Mm. So it's not like Kanye West did that track now and has moved mm. his date. So it's like it's really working Feeling for him. Himself. So, yeah. So I, <laughs> Kanye like West is confidence. just not ready. Kanye West is like a perfectionist. David, um, David o in a way. That album that they know wants to release, I've been waiting on it for like 20 years now. How do you relate Kanye West and David o? That's very disrespectful. What's that what's, supposed what's to that mean? Sorry. <laughs> That's very disrespectful. How is it disrespectful? My to Kanye you? West and a David Who is your Do? Kanye West? David Do? That's yeah. the problem. You people don't just support your own. No, 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 you no. can compare Kanye like, West to whiskey, coming. not a but there is a no, that's, now, that's where you're getting it wrong. You can't even compare whiskey to Kanye. It's, they are like two different people. A lot of... I, I mean, know, David no, no, no. is very hardworking. He's David very Do consistent. David is so similar to Kanye. I mean... But whiskey is a perfectionist and Kanye Pagani. West Sorry? is a perfectionist. Sorry? What? What? He's a perfectionist. I Like, if it's not... If it is not... If it is not something worth doing, then he won't do it at all. You get, mm -hmm. but Davido can jump on anything and any feature. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That's the difference. Davido is, I see, don't get me wrong. Sorry, no, 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 and mm -hmm. I love his consistency, his hard work, and everything he has been putting in. So I'm not going to try and uh, okay. Now all the characteristics you just said now, but I'm telling you that similar to Kanye. Kanye West, yes, is very consistent. Is very hard working. So Kanye West is not that consistent. Man. He is. Oh wow, he's he not. Is. Yeah, he drops when he wants to. He's drop. even no, saying he's going to be at, 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 at Christmas. This, uh -uh. When you're talking about, con sorry, don't spill your tea. When we're talking about consistency, we're talking about people like, um, who, who can I mention now? Who can I mention Whiskey. now when it comes to... For you to no, even no, say Kanye West is not consistent, then this conversation is... We oh, should be like, not saying yeah. this no anyway, more. But we are expecting his phone, album to drop project. whenever he's ready to drop it. And I'm also looking forward to watch, what's the name? The um, same, Jesus is King, but mm -hmm. the film. I Olamide really hope is that. consistent, thank you. Wow. Oh wow! <laughs> that is not the definition of consistent. Okay. Allow me to be talking to you. Back to back. Now I'm scared. David O is consistent. If it's alright. Can your West drops when it is necessary, and it will not drop. Can your West is a perfectionist. It's it? like M I. It's like the M I. Yeah. If you compare M I and Kanye. Uh, hold on. Oh, Dropping two albums in a year is it not consistency? 
It is, but because I'm no, bringing what? that up now because that's what MI has done. Okay, maybe and that's we want what to talk about. Maybe we want, maybe we want to talk about albums, but I'm talking about when you're talking about people that drop tracks back to back, back to back songs. That's what I see as being consistent in the no, music industry. No, yeah, no. not albums. If you're talking about album consistency, then maybe we'll have to think about it. But I'm talking about songs now, people that just constantly churn out tunes for you. Day in, day out, like that's Affair what I go, go. refer Affair to as consistent. So maybe um MI and um Kanye West can be put in the same category. <laughs> I stand that David Do and Kanye West can be put together. That's so fair. Did Kanye West we're very sorry. No, you no, are no, no, you are sorry. sorry. On, on the behalf We are not on the behalf of the two time crew, Kanye West, we are very, very sorry for comparing you to David Do. Comparing to David Doe is a blessing because he's one of the giants of Africa. So right. One of the giants? Yeah. So please. You only have there one giant of apologize. Africa, which is Bonner Boy. Really? And whiskey is worth. What? Whiskey is what? Africa. Oh. <laughs> Africa is <laughs> Whiskey <laughs> himself is Africa. Uh, uh, I ain't joking. Okay. This has been fed <laughs> from a felony gun possession case. He was present at, a, at an LA County courthouse on Wednesday when the judge tossed out his criminal case after finding the prosecutors had insufficient evidence for a conviction. So, congratulations to him, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I like his chain, Benjamin Franklin, on that. Mm. Um, so, um, this case is actually very funny because um, they claim they saw them toss their guns mm. as soon as they arrived at the crime scene and everything. And um, there was no video evidence, there was nothing. So, if you don't have enough evidence no to claim, no fingerprints, nothing. nothing, and then you still went ahead. So, it's a very dicey case. From the beginning of this case, I knew he, would, he wasn't going to see the light of day. So, I'm glad he's now a free man, yeah. It's so, funny how point prosecutors actually face. make a joke out of themselves because they are supposed to know that this mm, is not the that this won't to get to that hold point. In court, won't hold no so, okay. but you know they always like to try. Yeah, mm. just let's try. Especially when they won't want to come they won't want to be in a situation where they give him enough room to want to sue them for mm. detaining unlawfully. They want to charge him to court at least. Mm. To and I mean, especially when they are um, adding a celebrity case, mm. they like to like put all their effort on it to mm. make a name for themselves too. Mm. So. And then they, they, this is also a racial profiling case because they just profiled him because he's a black man looking fly, you know, wearing chains and all of that. Now it's, it's the same thing that is happening in our country where the police officers or the SAS officials see you and they just assume, oh yeah, yeah, oh boy. I don't know if um, you guys had Twinkle story, a very funny one at that about <laughs> some, yeah, okay, I think you were there mm. when we was talking about it, yeah. So I think we, we, we really need to stop this whole profiling thing and just get the right criminals. Mm. All right, it's time for a quick break. We won't return, we definitely have more stories to discuss. We'll be right back. <music> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. Um, moving on to the next story transactional sex is the same as prostitution, if it, even if it's with your boyfriend. And this is coming from Pastor Lori Dahosa. She shared her thoughts on social media, and I quote, attention, sh attention, sugar daddy and sugar mommy. Transactional sex is prostitution. If you take care of expenses in return for sexual favors, even if you consider them your girlfriend or boyfriend, you have demoted the person you are with to the classification of sex worker. End of quotes. Um, recall that um, Pastor Lori has been on this show, right? Mm -hmm. And um, if I over to you. Why over to me? You are the man now. You see that is transacting. <laughs> No, you are the ones that um, want the favors. 
I don't understand. What? Yeah. Who is so granting the favors? you go. Who is granting the favors? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I won't be able to really speak much in this. But, Why? Um, I totally do not. I, was I don't. I don't. I don't really agree with uh, Pastor Lauren. Yeah, in the sense that um, these days relationships are. I I can. I spoke to a relationship expert not mm. too long ago, mm. and. Um, yeah. So and then, do you want to tell us about <laughs> this relationship as part? Uh, for me, at the popularly known as MC Love, I spoke to her um, not too long oh, ago, okay. I think a, f a few weeks back. And um, she said one thing that breaks a lot of marriages and relationship is um, financial instability on the part of the man. That a relationship... On the part of a man? On, on the both? part of the man. Okay. The man, yeah. Okay. That a relationship is more solid when the man is financially stable and mm. can actually meet the woman's needs. So, mm. I do not see... It is responsible enough to miss the mate. It's yeah. not just about being financially a lot stable. Of men yeah, yeah, yeah they are financially child. stable that will meet it. Yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I don't see that as anything. If I am taking care of my woman and she feels like the only way she can pay me back is to make sure that when we go to bed at night, I sleep well. Mm. Do you understand? Um, if I don't, I don't understand the payback part of it. If you're doing something for your girlfriend, mm. you're doing it. Not because no. she which needs is, to which pay is, you Which is where... No, that's no, why... No, 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 I think no, no, that is think where Pastor Idamosa is also no, coming from. No, she's taking it out of context. No, she's no. not. I think that's where... No, I where... think she's taking what I said out of... When but I say payback, I'm saying, like, if you want to show appreciation, like... Or show your affection, basically. Yeah, like, or affection. Maybe, okay, I come up to you, I buy you the new phone. You, maybe you just said it. You didn't even ask me. You're like, oh, this phone is so nice. And it's what, like 600K? And then I bring the phone to you. I surprise you at work with that phone. Do you understand? And you're like, girl, what can I do? I don't even have enough money right now. I can't even buy him a gift as well. Do you understand? And you make sure I sleep well that night. Did, you, did I just See, pay I get you? what if I say. Yeah, but I'm saying I just that pay you. if you're in a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. and then you like the person and you're taking care of their person, you're gifting them, with different things and you're spoiling them. Mm. I don't think in return you should feel that that night she needs to make you feel. No, nobody's well. saying that. Uh, that. Now, when I read at um, to it, mm -hmm. I was very confused because I know a lot of people are in a relationship and they spoil each other. And it's, I don't see it, uh, for me or my opinion, I don't see it as transactional sex mm. because it's just two people that like each other and they're mm. taking care of each other. Mm -hmm. So I really don't get where she's coming from. Mm. I don't understand what she's trying to say at all. Okay, for but me... But when she said sugar daddy, sugar mommy, I understand. That one was that clear. That one is clear. Mm -hmm. But when you now start saying boyfriend, boyfriend girlfriend, very, no, even know. if they're your boyfriend or girl... No, if you're my girlfriend and I want to take care of you, and yeah. it's my duty as well, a man to actually take care of Maybe we can look at this from two angles. We can say maybe this... Um, Post was um, directed to sugar mommies and sugar daddies yeah, because the boyfriend. boyfriend and girlfriend part was put in a bracket. So I, you know, there are people who they are probably the same people that you call sugar mommy, but then there's a quote and a quote. That that's not, my boyfriend. My, that's that's my, my, girlfriend, my girlfriend, right? Yeah. So I'm guessing those are the people she's talking yeah, about. So but if we're that... bringing it back to normal relationship, um, boyfriend and girlfriend, then I think that um, deciding if it's transactional sex or not is what the intentions are behind your actions. Mm. So if you are in a relationship and you notice that this person needs this or this person can do this and you're doing it unconditionally from the bottom of your heart without expecting that, okay, what would this person do for me in return? Mm. How would this person treat me in return? Then maybe it is not transactional. But if you are deliberately saying, oh, if I buy her this cup today, uh, this to night will be awesome. That, yeah. And that's why you are doing it. I'm not saying that's why most people are doing it. But if that's mm -hmm. the mindset you have, then there yeah, is a yeah. problem. Yeah, true right? that, true that. But also, I'm also of the school of thought that, except it's God though, and Jesus and agape love, there's no love that is unconditional. I am sorry. That is the way I look at it. Because is. this is how I look at it. Because at the end of the day, if you love someone, you expect them to treat you a certain type of way, whether you agree or not. Even as a man, if you don't have the thought at the back of your mind to say, I'm buying, you're probably just a, a lovely person that loves spoiling your woman, and you're doing these things. At some point, you will think, okay, is she matching up the energy? There has to be a reciprocation. It's give and take. That is how I see it. So if you don't see it that way, it's fine. It's totally fine. If you think that somebody is going to be Jesus in your life, it's fine. Even when they tell you, oh, I can give you everything, 
there was a story I saw on social media, and it was a case of a girl wanting so much and even beginning to compare herself to the um, um, man's mom, right? And then when that conversation went on, everybody was coming from the angle of saying, you are not even a wife yet. So it means that the fact that you become a wife entitles you to a certain thing. And it means that because you are a wife, you get this. So you are getting this because you are a wife. There is a level of transaction in almost everything. That is how I see it. So I don't know where you guys look at it from, but in my head, maybe my head is messed up already. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> no, but I don't see it the way you see it anyways. Mm -hmm. I just feel like people, two people can love each other mm. and they would do anything. That's, some people would do things and then you'll be like, as, maybe their friends will tell them you're doing all these things and you're not getting anything mm. but they don't feel bad about it because yeah, they guess. really like that but I think love is transactional because if, if that relationship Trust breaks me, up I think, um, will you continue I doing agree, those things? I agree with what Elsie is saying now that I'm thinking about it there's a level of transaction in everything even in marriages if the relationship breaks up will you go in ahead and keep showering that yeah, person the fact with that those you even gifts? have to um, make some certain sacrifices mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. not, that's Still transaction. In okay, some, now some maybe way. you're just but not talking, we're talking about, about transaction. financial transactions. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. talking about. Yes. Okay. Of course, in everything, even in everything you want to do in, in life, life, it's give and take. Mm. You get even in the Bible, it's give and take. Yeah, like God will say, do this, then I'll give you this. Mm. Act like this, then you get it. Mm. That's how life is. Mm. But when it comes to relationship, if you're talking about the Cash, transaction, yeah. mm, I don't think. Love is about that. And on oh, no, that, so feel women, like she should... even if your man is spoiling you, you don't have to make him sleep well at night, even not your culture of prostitute. I don't understand. Women do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> on what um, hey. Elsie said, that um, where, where you said she was coming from, maybe she just felt that people that are dating sugar mommies, but they are calling them boyfriend. Mm. I think she should be clearer because mm. there are lots of people that look up to her and will pick this work the way it is that boyfriend and then changing their relationship mm. or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So in any, I, feel, I feel like celebrities or anybody, when we want to put out our words, let's be very clear enough so we don't mislead people. Mm. Mm. You want to add more? Or no, I think um, it's well said. All right, moving on to the next story. Uh, my life is being threatened because you paid me to record this song. This is coming from Duncan Mighty, who writes an open letter to Charles Okorocha. Um, Oga had to do this on social media, I don't know why, but he wrote, and I quote, Your Excellency, Owele Rochas Okorocha, compliments of the season, I'm writing to inform you that my life is being threatened because of the money you paid for me to record a song with one of your boys. After I recorded the song prior to doing the video, I've been invited to the police and several threats have been issued to my life. Please, I want to return the money to you to avoid further embarrassment to my person, end of quotes. Mm. It's just a disclaimer. What's the disclaimer here? I think what um, it's just doing is um, he doesn't want to be associated to Rochas. And um, I think he has an ongoing case. Rochas mm -hmm. has an ongoing case mm -hmm. and all of that. So he's just trying to be like, okay, by the time they start naming the people that benefited from his um, cash, he doesn't want to be listed as one of them. So that's why I see this as a disclaimer, not because your life is actually being threatened. Because we don't even know how much you got paid. That means it must be a very huge amount of money for yeah, you. Yeah, and thinking about that too, if you got paid to prefer a service, I don't yeah, think you should so be why should you return? Why should you be bothered and why should your life betray? What's the song about? How come we don't know yeah, the song? Yeah, we don't know what the song. Boy? We don't know. What it, we need we details. That, you can't just come and this is not Except the part letter. of those he did not um, record the song with. Remember he was called out one time for not honoring people oh uh, after getting paid after getting paid except mm. he treated this person the same way but if you did the song and you mm. shot the video and mm. it came out why are you bothered my point is i feel like even if this is happening i mm -hmm. mean there are better ways to undo things why are you bringing it to on? social media and then i think you have to, yes. it can be more matured and more private you have okorocha's um, rocha's number mm. you have his you probably know his house mm. you have a lot of people to contacting why are you telling us i don't know why people really try to put other people in their business mm. and then when people are all up in your business you say they should mind their business mm. but you are the one putting your business out there mm. i really don't this is very unnecessary if you're getting dead straight this is not the best way to handle it at all and i think um duncan mighty has had this trend of um I think he acts before he acts before he thinks. <laughs> yeah, because this is not going to be the first time. Even when he came at um, was um, our friend's name Magneto. Magneto. There was also a particular incident too that he tweeted, and at, at the same, I don't know. I think he he can be very irrational because mm. I don't think this should be bought on social media for oh. any reason. You can send him a message, reach out to him for him to pay you to put his boy on something. Then 
there is a level of relationship there, right? So I mean, this is I think like you first said, it's probably a disclaimer because CFTC is all up on there, you know. So yeah, I, I, what, I don't know. I feel that's more reason why I should not even put this out there that you got money from him. Now, if if I'm working with EFCC, I think we should focus on him a bit too and find no, out. Maybe you have some information. Information, right? yeah, oh, okay. mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I just feel like um, like you guys have rightly said that um, for you to be in that level or you, the level of Duncan Mainz's career, he cannot tell me that he cannot reach out to Rocha as a Do you understand? I mean, and someone actually, that paid you. Yeah, that paid you. Somebody that you've met on several mm. occasions. Do you understand? Somebody that, like you said, you have, even if you don't have his direct line, yeah. you have people, people that will be around him that you can reach out to. Mm. And you say, oh, boss, this is what Duncan is saying. No. And he's like, look, 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 I have the FCC case right now. I'm not bothered. Do you get that kind of thing? <laughs> Let it be like that. But coming on social media is making it look like, oh, I have skeleton in my closet. Mm. Let me just cover my tracks before things don't Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I'm a, working it looks with the FCC, dodgy. I it looks dodgy. look into his case. It's, this open letter <laughs> looks dodgy, and it doesn't have the details we need. Who is this boy? What's the song? Mm. What platform is he when on? When he sends money to your account, did you tell us? How you much, know. How much was sent? <laughs> Why, who threatened your life? Did you do the giveaway? What police? You invited <laughs> Yeah, that's the tight thing. You were, you were invited <laughs> by the police for what? Mm. Do you understand? There are certain, there are a lot of questions Duncan needs to So he was invited by okay, the police and I, he was also being threatened. threatened. Is it the police that is threatening him? I'm confused. <laughs> Duncan, man, behave. Moving on to the next story. Um, Deji Adeyoju is blasting uh, Mali, saying that he's a nuisance to the society and to himself. So I think this happened um, because... Malians. MD, Asa, MD. Asa, shake your uh, body. Malians. Well. <laughs> Malians. <laughs> so, oh God, disclaimer. So, disclaimer. Disclaimer. No, 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 this is not this a disclaimer. Malians. Hey, fair, can we? Malians. <laughs> ah, no, if you don't answer, no, we will show you, this show will end. Malians. What is Malians? <laughs> <laughs> MD. She said she's not there. Hey. Again. What are you? I'm still there. Disclaimer. Wait, 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 I'm still there. But. 1,000 Chaza. If I leave me, ah, this <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm still there. What I thousand like Chaza? Naira Mali, I mm. still like him. But what him. do you like about Naira Mali? I think I, I, I just like his happy personality. I mean, mm. it's just somebody. But that it's never that happy out. in court, though. <laughs> yeah, oh, if you're in court, you can't. Because it's usually happy. like this. Yeah, no, no, you could still have like no, you could still have like a bright countenance. His own look is so you can't. When you're in court, they take all these things into consideration. You you have to look remorseful. That's when you committed a crime. Mm -hmm. Like even you have to look sober. You can't yeah. be all jolly. Like I really don't care. Like look, they are going to use that mom fast. They are call. going to use that mom fast <laughs> video. They are going to use that. That's the no. Now we all know the no. Is baba, <laughs> baba, baba, baba for the mm. okay. That mom fast video. They are going to use it against him mm. in court. Do yeah. you want to know why? Because he was smiling all through. You committed a crime. They were telling you that you are involved in fraud. You don't have anything activity. to hold. You no, know, I mean even your lawyers, even your lawyers, lawyers who told you to remain even calm and look sober. Okay, go ahead. Say he's a happy person. Yeah. I feel like it's just a happy person. Let's and most take out lawyers the... are sadist. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Let's take out um, the negative part of him. Mm. You get? Like for me personally, I don't pick on it. I don't think any of his negative influence has affected me in any way. Malians. That's not what I'm picking. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the fact that when his songs come up, I just want to dance. Mm. You get? And I understand where um, Yonji is coming from. To be honest, I think Naramali should do better. In uh, what is putting I like I got him your jewel. Like, <laughs> this is your guys. <laughs> yeah, guys, guys. <laughs> no, but okay. I think Naramali should do better. Mm. Like when we everything is putting out there. You put in let me tell you what he did. He put <laughs> out a very <laughs> big backside. He wasn't the two. one. He wasn't the one. Who was, was the one? He was just in the but background. He it was, wasn't. Yeah, I, I mean, I said he tweeted. If he says it wasn't the one, and, um, no, and he put his song, guys. He put to you. I mean, he tweeted it. That's the point. Yeah, because of he was promoting a song. song. Oh, and if he does not promote it with that backside, it will not promote. That's, but have you seen anyone promoting that song without putting their backside? Yeah, that's and the backside put, had to be. They put whatever. They put whatever is plenty. Mm. Do you understand? Anywhere their body that is plenty. Anyway, I think put. I'm in support with um Deji Joe. Deji, because yeah. I think he he needs to. I understand what he's doing. I understand that he's actually making way with all this because it's what the people want that you give to them. Yeah. Check out the level of followers he's ha he has, the level of um, fans, like serious Fan Malians, yeah. you Malians, know, you and know. all that. And you understand the level of, um, I don't even know influence. the English. Not see, even influence, see, the level of rot in our society. I'm mm. sorry. It's not, a, it's, uh, I, was, I was going to come in there. I don't think it's about our society because our society at least has a little bit of decency. It's about one. Now, I f where he, he didn't grow up here, 
-hmm. He grew up in UK. Mm -hmm. And in UK, all those things, I mean, nobody will, even if he's putting all those things out, nobody will notice. Nobody will raise an eyebrow about it. Because so it still means we still have some of our cultural values. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's it's not even our society. A that's why, yeah, we're seeing it as a problem. Over there, you I'm sure if you said nobody America will. Was okay, but UK, UK can be a bit conservative. Oh, you? Yes. I don't think so. Yeah, they can they be. They can be a bit. I, I don't think so. Even I mean, check I out all the people, people you that grew up, up in UK and their lifestyle. It's a royal like, country, so there are certain you, things they, they don't do. They do it, but them. not in public. No, 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 I get where AY is coming from. I get where you're coming from about the um, UK mm -hmm. being conservative. But out there, they don't see all those things. But we still have some of our cultural values, which is why someone like DJ, a politician, mm. will come and talk about it. He's, he's an Mali. activist, not a politician. Uh, That's how uh, political activist, this none. Special episode. It's really special of the time. Thank you for <laughs> watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch the time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ewari Too, and if only watch UK. And of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching.